Bowl of Bear as we get set to go for the final stateside exhibition for Team USA. They're off to Australia tomorrow night. They'll play three exhibition games there, then head to China for the World Cup, which for the U.S. begins on September 1st against the Czech Republic. Gasol taps it back. Ricky Rubio, Ricky Rubio gathers, and we're off and running here on a Friday night in Anaheim. Ricky Rubio, remember, now a part of the Phoenix Suns roster. Right off the bat, man, for all the viewers, just watch the continuity and the chemistry of this Bane team. This team has been together so long and also a lot of cutting and moving without the basketball. Good defense by Donovan Mitchell, and that's what you want from Team USA. And it goes back to Spain with four seconds left on the shot clock. It was defense that turned things around for the senior men's national team, the blue team last week. Gasol will take the shot. Beats the buzzer, and we have our first points. A point guard playing against Rubio in this setting, and throughout this entire USA basketball experience, he's going to be the one on the defensive end as a point guard being able to disrupt. And we know what he can do on the offensive end. He can create his own. The layup in a half-court situation is wonderful and marvelous to watch. He had 14 points and four assists last week. Rubio knocks down the jumper and shows off the touch. And that's one thing Greg Popovich was put in their national team uniform that what you might see on a nightly basis in the NBA. And Rubio is a good example of that that he cited. He'll be much more aggressive in terms of the shot. And as Middleton knocks down the three. Yeah, they're so calm. Guys that can also defend, you know, multiple positions anywhere from two through four. So he's going to have to play a lot of minutes. Joe Harris is a fantastic shooter, but Middleton can do it both on both ends, offensively and defensively. U.S. will get on a plane tomorrow night out of L.A. and head to Australia. Turn it over here. Cut turn on Gomez. Finishes with the left hand. Man, we talk about Rubio's offense, but I think right there, you, and you talk about passing from Ricky Rubio, and they have a fantastic guy in Marcus Hall from the center spot who also can facilitate. Quick shot for Donovan Mitchell. He knocks down the three. U.S. retake. Walker, guarded by Rubio, gives it up, gets it back. Middleton will take it and knock it down. Chris Middleton. Really lay into you, and there's for that Rudy shooting that shot. There's Kyle Kuzma bringing it up. There's Chris Middleton. He can flat out shoot it. Three of three for Chris Middleton now. He's got the feeling. And you're hearing the uh, what comes down with it one more time. Pushes. For the U.S. Stripped by Colbert. And Rubio has it. Doesn't have numbers. We'll think about the three. He'll try the three and knock it down. Ricky Rubio. Coach Popovich called it a good lesson, as Smitty referenced earlier, the FIBA game shorter. Just a 10-minute scrimmage teaches the guys they need to get off to a fast start, and they can't take any game for granted. This is the challenge that they need before they head abroad. You're so right, Jared. I mean, the reason why on all accounts, there's a team with Spain you're looking at. They have national team for so long and he's been coveted by a lot of NBA teams everybody waiting to see for him to come over don't know if it's going to happen or not but I've seen him play so much he is a skillful point guard for this uh, Spain team he went all with the offensive put back there Yol tried to find Hernan Gomez Darren Fox comes back we're at number 20 in blue for the Americans so fast and Makes his own offense out of nothing. The speed with that size for a point guard position and athleticism. And the game has slowed down for him. He's so comfortable. I think he's going to be a difference maker. There, Sergio with a nice pass. He is really good. No, you're Hernan Goma. I'm going by the team hair. Team. You know, Willie has a little bit of touch of blonde yep. in his hair. Joe Harris set up Turner for the dunk. Nice look for Harris, who's obviously known as a stand up. He's really shooting at 47%. His skill, number 23, he's 31 years of age, second round pick back in 2009, in part because he can do things like. You know, I've watched him play an international play for Spain for. Winds up back in his hands. Here's Lopez. First shot of the night. Drops for the big belt. We've all watched this Fox because of a Kimball Walker. Uh, having that much time and a shorter line, it'll make it a much easier for Team USA. Jason Tatum tried to throw it down, and Lou Rebus came down very hard. Man, hit his head. He's on the floor still as they battle for that rebound. Tatum was fouled there, but for the moment, the concern is for Powell Rebus. Went up with that rebound and came down very hard on his back. May have hit the back of his head. Watch it. Uh, it did not hit the floor. It's a good sign, but 
You have some guards in De'Aaron Fox and Kimball Walker that can just get where they want to and put pressure on you defensively. I think the one concern I will have is their bigs being in foul trouble and being able to, I would say, match up against some of the elite bigs right. you know, from other countries. Tatum nearly got that to go at the buzzer. It's of injury, and we really work with the players on educating them about all the things that they can do proactively. Their recovery is so important, so they work hard. You see them work in preparation for the game. Callahan, the team, the country thanks you for your duties here, and enjoy Australia. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to it. There's Dr. Lisa Callahan, Matt. Jared, thanks much. U.S. Yeah, but they destroy Spain on, on a glass. I think 14-3. to three. That's right. Plus 11 on rebounds in a quarter. Here's Rebox. Had that hard fall a moment ago. Brooke Lopez back in. Hands off to his Bucks teammate, Chris Middleton. And back out to Jason Tatum. Middleton has it. Goes baseline. Sets up Brown for the dunk. Jalen Brown flying in. Out to Hernan Gomez. Willie is off on the three. Middleton sees Walker ahead of the pack. And an easy two for Kemba Walker. Good vision by Chris Middleton. Round number 33 of the Boston Celtic brings it up for the Americans. Walker over to Tatum. Quick drive and he hammers it home. Knew exactly where he wanted to go with it. And Jason Tatum puts a little charge in the Anaheim crowd. He's doing a nice job, Matt, of turning. And as he was younger, sometimes you take that bump and you can't go through contact. Oh, there are basically two arguments, right? One is that you want to do it tonight after the game, maybe tomorrow morning, and let the two players who aren't going to be involved definitively get on with the rest of their summer, for the, for, prepare themselves for camp with their NBC. A couple of injuries away. And you don't want to be stuck in Australia or China and have to make a phone call and hope somebody can scramble to get on that roster against the Czech Republic on September 1st to finalize the 12-man roster. And then, as you know, if there's an injury beyond that, you just play on with 11 or 10 or whatever you have left. Great pass. Great look for Mjol. On the back end. And if you're Team USA, you had a big, comfortable lead, but you're still just up 10. That definitely can change. You got to keep playing with your principles. You understand this Spain team will come back out of the picture with a fantastic move and finish. Donovan Mitchell. Here's on this U.S. roster with senior men's national team experience. Harrison Barnes is the other. Walker. You do not want to see coming at you full speed. On served on the board, and I'll get a chance to call some games with you, Matt. That means I'm getting old. I was going to say that. that. That doesn't sound like the highlight of his resume necessarily. <laughs> Kino Cologne hits the mid range jumper. For, and I think that, that was a difficult part. To the decisions a lot yep. of players have made this summer to pass on the World Cup. Tatum knocks down the three. It's a 16 point U.S. lead. Just over a minute to go. 12-point lead for the U.S. Can't quite shake the Spaniards. Mitchell gets a pick from Turner. Glides in and finishes with the right hand. Speed. Kuzma. Gasol got a hand in there. Apparently cleanly as Rubio brings it back for Spain. Rubio will put it up and in. Count the bucket for Ricky Rubio. Productive second quarter for Rubio. Who now has 13 and a chance to make it 14. Nice job by him. You can see Donovan Mitchell. They played against each other. Well, the guy is driving, isn't he? About seven seconds between game and shot clock here. As Donovan Mitchell handles it for the red, white, and blue. Over to Joe Harris. Turn the corner. Gives it up to Turner. Another good dish. Joe Harris to set up Turner. Jaime Fernandez comes back the other way. Up to Gasol. Rudy Fernandez. Pass Turner up. They won't go. And the U.S. goes to the locker room. Up 54 to 41. Chris Middleton led the Americans with 10 points on a perfect 4 of 4 shooting. Last season nearly 3 a game. 2.7 to be exact for the Indiana Pacers. Mitchell leaks through. Out to Walker. Passed on the 3. Two on the shot clock now. 
Gomez, who kind of laughed about it, had something to say, I think, to Kemba on the way back. They kind of messing with each other. Just methodically grind this one to a, a bigger lead for Team USA. Rubio turns the corner to set up Gasol, and that is turned away by Turner. Gasol gets it back and connects, but what a great reaction by Miles Turner defensively. Miles did a good job of being able to, one, he was out of position, but quickly, a first step on defense to come back and been able to contest that. It's technically property of the Houston Rockets in the NBA. He was a second round draft pick back in 09, but has consistently decided not to go over to the NBA. He's happy playing with Making a good living, playing pro ball. Uh, and I would say for the last, I would say 10 years, you've heard talk about how good he is. If I've witnessed it, you said it best. I think now, not sure if you still come up. Kemba brings it back for the U.S. Plumley has it. Over to Mitchell now. Screen from Plumley. Floater from Mitchell is up and in. They seek you out in a national play. They're not set strong. You can see they're kind of like in a constant movement. And sometimes it's hard, and that was like a beautiful play. But the pop joke last week, he had to learn how to teach an illegal screen <laughs> for these guys. Hernan Gomez defended by Tatum back out to Rubio, though. Yo, from deep, Sergio feeling it. And they're back in this game. Absolutely. Cliche talker, have you guys been able to utilize this time and gain some much needed chemistry? Uh, we have. We, we, we have used this time just the chemistry, but, you know, it's been a, we've all been enjoying the journey. They obviously prioritize, and that's defense. They bring some physical element, which they could use right now. Just we got bodies flying all over the place here while Jared just talking to Marcus. Yeah, get a little physical. You can see Team USA doing a nice job. The lead was cut down to eight. Two seasons, he's averaged 8.5 points, 48%. Um, started a lot of games for the San Antonio Spurs and played well in the playoffs. Versus. Cologne was born in the Principality of Andorra, which is wedged between Spain and France. Population under 80,000. And he was just beaten by Derek White. Can you say something? And that's not even a questionable screen. No, that's that a good was NBA a good screen. screen. Yeah. Fernandez for three. Rudy knocks it down. Three-pointer for Rudy Fernandez. Showing his size. Nowhere to go for Gomez. Good job of moving it. Good. This is good basketball. White to Lopez. Good two-man game. I thought Brooke Lopez had his best defensive season in the NBA last year. Not just blocking shots, although he did that really well. It's Fernandez He's starting to heat up here. The veteran with a, playing with mostly G-leaguers. He played a couple of those 12 games. As Jim Van Gundy had to cobble together a roster over and over again. Middleton for the buzzer will fall. First, at the bottom part of the rim, back comes Spain. Kino Colom handles. Into the paint, floater is up and good for Kino Cologne. In awkward range, shoot a floater. As many of you know as a point guard, you got to make that decision, right? You turn the corner, you, you deal with what's there or not there in that case. Middleton. Middleton. This is the backcourt most expect to see when the World Cup begins in China. Walker and Donovan Mitchell. Walker knocks out the short little jumper. Kemba with a screen from Turner. Mitchell for three. Got it. Donovan Mitchell. Now with a dozen. He's hit two of three from the great beyond. Fernandez on top. Hernan Gomez over his head to finish the play. Ricky Rubio, really good in that first half. Pretty quiet so far here in the second. Interesting shot. It is. It is. Oriola. Kemba over to Barnes. To the corner for Harris. Spain Great goes close out. Scouting report. They're all over Harris. Gets away from him. Here's Rebos to finish it off for Spain. Been a persistent problem for the U.S. tonight. Points off turnovers. No whole run here. To close the gap. Again to 11. Harris caught up in the air there. And sends it to White. Scouting report by Spain. Do not give him an open yeah, shot. They, they, they find Joe Harris when he finds. 
Sol up top, such a great playmaker for Team Spain. Now here's Rubio. Drifting to his left, no good because Sol there for the cleanup. Mark is cleaning out space. Juan Hernan Gomez has it. Back to Rubio. Five of the shot clock. Rubio out to Gasol. Here's Yol. Sergio Yol knocks down the three. And it is an eight-point lead. Man, I talk about that offensive possession for Spain. They answer. Right now, if you're in USA, you don't want to get a live ball turnover and give up an easy bucket. Harris. But couldn't get back out to Joe Harris. He's been waiting all night to get one off. That was his first three attempts because they've done such a good job closing out on him. There's White at the rim. He finishes off that play. Goal guarded by Plumley in the post. Turned right in the Plumley. No foul call. Rightly so. Just lost the ball. Tatum in the corner now. And it's good. Man, that kid is good. I mean, Jason Tatum. The game is smooth. He got his feet set. There's Marcus Gasol shooting a three. Answer from Gasol. The U.S. has now matched the last week's total with a to a spot. Middleton chased it down. Screen from Lopez. They look inside. And the U.S. turns it over. For the 20th time tonight. Gasol for three. Marcus Sol now with 16, the team, to go coach the Spanish national team during the World Cup qualifying process. Yeah, 28 seconds left. Spain still playing. Gasol, giving 19 on the night. Gasol with his third main three. Gasol already hit three threes. Chased off the line that time. Rubio will try it. Air ball in the U.S. can run out the clock. A lot to like about the U.S. tonight. Defensively, 